Hello, today I'm going to be speaking, teaching, and preaching on God cares for you. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, help me today, Lord, to preach, Father, to the people, Father. Help me today to teach, speak, and help the people understand, Father, that you care for them, Father. That whatever they're going through, whatever situation they are in, Father, that you will deliver them, that you, are, that you care for them. Father, help us today uh, to acknowledge that, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I want us to start off by going to 1 Peter 5, verse 7. 1 Peter 5, verse 7. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 says, Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. What does this scripture mean? It's so tiny, yet so powerful. For he cares for you. He cares for you. When someone cares for someone, they love them. They look after them. Whatever situation that that person is in, the other person cares, looks, and helps in that situation. That's what God does for us. Even through this lockdown, as it's been a year of lockdown, God has cared for us. He's loved us throughout. However dire the situation may be, He is there, He is loving, and He's caring for you and he cares for you cast all your anxiety and worries unto him because he cares for you God helped so many people in the Bible because he cares for them and if he can help and care for them then how much more you Even through this lockdown, God has been working through mighty, mighty ways. He's been helping us get closer to him. The more time that we spend at home, the more free time we've had to spend time and delve deep into his word. For some of us, this has given us new understanding and new revelation. For others, it has taught the meaning of patience and kindness. God has been working Throughout this entire year, and throughout last year and the year before, God has been working. He cares for you. God cares. God cared when the Israelites cried out in Egypt. God cared when they say, Lord, help us from our captors. When they were slaves in Egypt. When they were mistreated in Egypt. God heard the cries God heard their prayers God heard their misery because he cared for them he brought them out he rose up a leader Moses to bring the Israelites out of Israel he heard the cries of Israel he heard the cry of a nation and because he cared for them because of his continuous love because he cared for them they were rescued Yet, they were ungrateful and they walked away from God, built a statue of another God, worshipped an idol. Yet God still loved them, yet God still cared for them. And how much more you? How much more you? God cared for every single one of them. He did not want to see one of them suffer. When they cried out for water in the desert, God provided. God provided. Throughout history, God has provided a way. God has provided a way for us. God has given us a light. And a lamp unto our feet to guide us onto the right path. We just need to accept his gift, listen to him, obey him, trust him, and follow him. 
God cares about even the minute things in your life. God cares not just about the big things, but about the little things. God cares about your work. Not just you, he cares about your work, he cares about everything around you. If you truly love someone, then you won't just love them. You won't just care for them, but you care for all the people and everything around them. Because you love that person. Because you love that person, you'll care for everything and every person around them. God has shown compassion to us. The fact that we're still breathing, living here today, is God's kindness and show that he cares for us today. So many people have died, yet you're still here. You're still alive. This is shows God's grace and mercy unto you. Let us not be like the Israelites who forsook and betrayed God. God says in the scriptures, He will never leave us nor forsake us. Let's not do the same. Let's not be a Judas today. Let us start and show. God's compassion to others. We cannot just receive and take from God. But not give out his love also to others. This is why evangelism is so important. He helps us give, show and care for others. Helps us love others as we love ourselves. If God loves and cares for us. If God Shows compassion unto us, forgiveness and mercy. Should we not show those same traits, those same characteristics unto others? We should emulate what God has done and is doing in our lives. We should emulate it. We should be a vessel that the water, that God's spirit, that God's light flows through. The Holy Spirit will flow through onto other people, touching other people's lives. We are called to be a vessel. We are called to be a vessel. Today, many people have not experienced the love of God. Haven't experienced his compassion. That's why today there are so many, there's so much depression and suicidal thoughts in the earth today. It's not just because these things come on naturally. It's because that these people have not experienced the love of God. We should be reaching out to them. Showing that we care for them just as God cared for us. And that God loves them and cares for them also. Hmm. That God loves them and cares for them also. When God cares and loves us has so many different branches. He shows his love and he cares for us in so many different ways. One, he shows it through guiding us. He shows it through saving us. He shows in so many ways and expresses his love and his compassion for us in so many ways that we don't even know. The next scripture I want us to go to It's Philippians 4, verse 6 to 7. Say amen when you're there. Philippians 4, verse 6 to 7. Philippians 4, verse 6 to 7 says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Be anxious for nothing. Don't worry for anything. For he cares for you. Let your request be made known unto God. Ask and you shall receive. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. What this shows here is that it shows another branch 
of God's compassion. His fulfilling of our desires. His peace surrounding us. This shows his love and compassion. I can't express with words of how much love and compassion God has specifically shown to me. When I was sick in my hospital bed, he shown compassion unto me. When I was near the verge of death, he shown compassion, mercy and grace for me. He loves me and he loved me in that point. He saved me. If it wasn't for God's compassion, love and mercy, I would not be here testifying for you today. And I'm sure many of you have similar or very similar stories of God's compassion and mercy on you. He loves us and he loves you. In so many ways he cares for you. He not just cares about the big things in your life. But the minute things. He cares whatever you care about. He hears your cries and he hears your prayers. As he heard the Israelites' cries in Egypt, so may he hear your cries, your prayers, and your desires today. Now, if you don't know who Jesus Christ is, he's a savior. He died on the cross for you. He washed away your sins with his blood. Took upon the sins of the world on the cross. And washed it away clean with his blood. Washed away all your sins that you have and that you will commit in the future. He has washed them all away clean. Now all you need to do is open the door. Accept the gift. And if you'd like to accept the gift... If you'd like to receive Jesus as your Lord and Saviour today, I want you to pray this prayer with me. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I repent of my sins. Lord Jesus, forgive me. And I receive you today as my Lord and my Saviour from this day forward. In Jesus' mighty holy name, amen and hallelujah. You are a born again believer. Your name has been written into the Lamb's Book of Life. This road may not be easy, but it's well worth it. I recommend you reading the Book of John. Remember, throughout this walk, never forget that he cares, that God cares for you. That God loves you. And no matter how tough or how hard any situation may get, remember, remember this. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Hmm. He will never leave you nor forsake you. For he cares for you. This has been God cares for you. Thank you for listening and have a blessed week.